Leg two of the Moors Williams is the long distance leg today. It's four and a quarter miles. And if you run it, this is count as your qualification for the Grand National later in the season. King of Windsor, Alex Cherry, Matador, Martin Leadham, Amanda, Matt Cooper, Shaman Defey, Padraig Hogan, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, Roosevelt, Drop, David Robertson, The Gentle Blade, Leon Van Rensburg, and Tiama Vonas for Derek Hinton. Just eight, quite a few of them are on their first ever run. And called it and away. Obviously, there's only run last week. Not many, if any, returners because it's not maiden status. But I thought there still might have been one or two long distance horses might have run in this. But they get over the first of the 27. And King of Windsor is the early leader for Alex Cherry. Short run to the second, which they all get over nicely filled. He is pretty tightly grouped. Only about three lengths between second and last. The leader, King of Windsor, has got a two and a half length lead into fence number three. Which they all get over okay. King of Windsor, the orange sleeves for Alex Cherry in the lead. Shum on the feet for Padre Hogan. And the yellow and black in second. I think he's going to be a bit of a force to be reckoned with this season in the jumps. And a good start to the season. Won the first leg of the Moors Millions in the race before this as well. Was in second, then Darren Thompson's Frozen Hope with the white sleeves and maroon jacket is third. The only grey in the field is Matador in the purple and white stripes. And Tiana, Vol Tiana Volnas is next, or Derek Hinton in his many clouds colours. And Amanda is the early back marker for Matt Cooper as they hid. So what's the next? The King of Windsor clearing the lead by two lengths. Shaman Defey probably a length and a half up on Matador. Frozen Hope just ahead behind him as they get over the fifth. Which they're all safely over. And the Gentle Blade and the Blue with a Gold Cap is after that one. The Rose Bell drop on its outside in the Turquoise. Pink hoops. Let's take it over the next the yellow and green checks or quarters. And Derek Hinton and Tiana Vonas. And then finally the red with a white sash for Matt Cooper at the back with Amanda. Shadwell stood colours in there. Real don't know. I wish I don't got them. What were they changed their names? Those things. So it's Thompsons, I think they used to, used to be. But I think. Something stood now anyway. anyway. Anyway, get back to this. King of Windsor's in the lead. You'll get used to If you're just new to this, you'll be you'll get used to me waffling during these four mile races. As the season goes on. I'm sure you've all found the mute button by now. Anyway, Amanda made a bit of a mistake at that one. But it's King of Windsor in the lead. From Matador in second. And then Frozen Hope third. Shaman de Fay is fourth. The Gentle Blade after that. And then Rose Bell drop. Little gap to the back too. Tiama, Vonas and Amanda as they get over number nine. It's a third of the jumping done. And they get into the tenth. Matador's getting closer to King of Windsor. Of the eleventh again, Matador made a mistake and Frozen Hope was a faller. Well, that one was put off by the mistake that Matador made in his eyeline. I don't know, but it was Matador made the mistake and then almost directly behind him, Frozen Hope felt. So they can't pass the stand then. They've still got two circuits to go. And King of Windsor is clear in the lead. Six left to chase him. And Shaman de Fay on the outside of Rosebell Drop, who's on the outside of the grey Matador as they take that turn, tucked him behind them. Here's the gentle blade. And then a gap to the back two. Tiama Vonas and Amanda. You wouldn't want anything out yet, even the back two are capable of getting into this. Still well over two miles to go. And the King of Windsor has been on his own in the lead pretty much all the way. Jumping nicely. Travelling smoothly as they. Make the run towards the next. The green.
Grey Matador is now back into second. They take the 13th. Oh, good jump there by Sean de Fay. And Rosebell drops in them, jump past Matador. And the Gentle Blade still just sat quietly in behind. And they get back to Tiama Vonas and Amanda at the back. All safely over the next, the leader. He's only two lengths ahead now though, maybe three. Of Rosebell dropping second, Shaman de Fay in third, the Gentle Blade and Matador as they take this big ditch. And then all over that one, okay, Matador a bit slow again though. King of Winds has been in the lead all the way and he's still in the lead now and he's three lengths clear. He's jumping well. As are most of them. Really Matador has been making continual mistakes. They take the 16th. And we'll jump that one really well. With King of Windsor in the lead. Three lengths down in a second is Rosebell drop then Shaman de Fay in the yellow. The Grey Horse Matador is fourth then. Leon van Rendsburg is a gentle blade. Two length gap to Tiama Vonas. And finally, probably lengths to drift is Amanda at the back, but He's only 10 or 12 lengths off the lead as they take the 17th. A couple of good jumps, we'll see her right back in it. There's still a circuit to go. There's still a couple of furlongs, more than a circuit to go to be fair, as they get over the 18th. All over that one as well. With King of Windsor's lead down to a length now as Rosebell drop. Starts to get a bit closer. This will be the final fence on the next circuit. And they're all over it okay with King of Windsor continuing to show the way in the lead, leading by just a little more than a length as they come up past the stand, past the winning post then one more circuit to go chaps and it's King of Windsor who's led all the way so far and we'll be hoping to lead past the post again next time Matador has just poked his head back into second the grey horse, then Rosebell drop his third then Chamon de Fay and the gentle blade together Tiama Vonas is running up the inside to join that group that's a gap of four or five then to Amanda, who's still not without hope as they take the 20th. And they will jump that one okay. The King of Windsor continuing to lead. Matador, though, within half a length now. Then Rosebell dropped third. And Chamon de Fay, Tiama Vonas, and the Gentle Blade. And about three or four lengths between all of them. And Matador just poked his head in front. First time King of Windsor has surrendered the lead as the grey hits the front coming into the next and then got riding closeness gone Matador's gone he'd been making mistakes and that time he hit it hard the jockey went out the side door he couldn't stay in the plate and that's been on the cards for a while to be fair as they race down towards the next and it's Rosebell drop and King of Windsor disputing the lead. She would have had another one gone. Tiama Vonas has gone at the back as well. So suddenly they're starting to tire. And we're left with just five left now. And you see Amanda is in the money now. As they come to the 23rd. And they get over that one. And it's Rosebell Drop who's in front. From the Gentle Blade who's looking ominous on the outside in second. King of Windsor's trying to fight back. Shaman de Fay is still there. Amanda is getting closer. And she's starting to eat up the ground actually on the outside. As they head down all the fourth from home and Rosebell Drop has gone for the lead the Gentle Blade is in second then comes the King of Windsor who's starting to tire I think Shaman de Fay is also starting to labour as they get over that one Amanda is at the back but only six lengths off the lead it's Rosebell Drop in front from the Gentle Blade these two are starting to pull away and race down towards the next then. It's Rosebell Drop in the lead. There's three more to take. Rosebell Drop from Gentle Blade. These two are well clear of Shaman de Fay who's trying to run on in third. Over to third. Last they go. And both over it nicely. Shaman de Fay back in third. Then King of Windsor and Amanda. That looks to me like the order they're probably going to finish in. Apart from these front two who's still going to battle it out as they get to the second last. And this time it's the Gentle Blade who jumps it better. The Gentle Blade now takes it up. The Gentle Blade goes on by a neck. Coming on towards the final fence in. It's the Gentle Blade and Rosebell dropped together and Rosebell dropped starting to power on again and Rosebell dropped beginning to pull away as the Gentle Blade's got nothing left and Rosebell drop is going to take this one up towards the line. Rosebell drop takes it for David Robertson. The Gentle Blade is second. Shaman de Fay third. King of Windsor fourth and then Amanda back in fifth. They were the only five to finish and I think they've all finished pretty tired to be fair. 
and Rose Bell drop takes it for David Robertson the gentle blade for Leon van Rensburg was second Shaman de Fay Padre was third King of Windsor Alex Cherry fourth and Amanda for Matt Cooper was fifth 